Saluko das welcome back to another tutorial and in this tutorial it's about voice recording so i will show you how to implement voice recording so a user click this record icon it's a recording i'm showing people how we can implement this in flutter and upright storage then you click this stop so after doing this the file has been uploaded to upright storage and let's try to play the audio it's a recording i'm showing people how we can implement this in flutter and upright storage then you click this so as you can see i want to show you how you can implement of all of these things so the two things that i want to show you we are using this this library that you are using to display the audio uh, is this one which is voice message package and i forked the project on github and also after forked it i i did some changes because i'm implementing using the file so it was throwing an exception when trying to render this if you are loading a file from your local not from a url so i fixed that and you can check my you can you can go to pubspec yaml and the link is here where i fork the project and implement my implemented my changes so then i'm using this record dependency this one is the one when you click the record button and click the stop is recording to a file and and also a uh, and we are using that file to send it to upright and store it on upright so let me show you the changes that we did on our chat application and in previous tutorial we did we send speakers and the implementation is just the same of sending uh, files but here the difference is that this is a voice note and we are not sending a sticker or an image or a video so i added a property on our state to listen for recording so our screen will be listening for recording so that it will update the screen based on the state of the of the application so if the application is recording we will show the stop button and also we will not be able to edit the text field or send a text message so in our view model we are we are updating this state using this method and we are either setting to true or false so the input is either true or false and i added a method which we this one so when you, when we are creating an audio we are saving a file into our local phone but this one is going to be a temporary file so that's why i call it temp file and i added this logic to to get a file path of a temporary of a temporal and the name of a file will be any 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 x string but with a dot m4a which is going to be used by the record dependency so in our message screen if you are if you go to our message screen in here i just modified the message screen i initialized the record i initialized this record here i initialized this record and after initialize this record when you someone click the start it will start to record when someone click the stop it will stop the record and send it to upright so i i added that implementation on this icon which is the mic one so when someone click the start it will then the state will change to record and the record will be true so if it's true if it's true here uh, we change the colors this one to black or white and also on our text field we we modified our text field so that when you, when you are recording when you are recording we will not be able to type a message by using this property read only so if it's recording we read the read, the read only will be true and the hint will also be say recording to notify that something is happening the application is recording so when you click this start record which first check if it's if it's recording if the state is recording we we'll stop the recording else we can start the recording so when starting the recording you can see here we we update this to true so that the application will change its state and new widgets will be shown so we also check if we have permissions here so if we have permissions or what i can do before we do that we can check we can do this we can do it here after we check that the permissions are okay so then it will start to record and it will record to the to the file it will record to this file so the record object that i showed you it require 
a file path when you say start record you are supposed to save it to record and save it to the to a, to a file then this is going to be a bit red so when you click the stop button it will it will, we will call this stop record so when you're calling the stop record which first check if it's the the record is still recording if it's still recording it will then it will stop the record and we upload the file to the upright after uploading we create a new message in our database of a type of voice that's all so it means now the app the voice the message is now in the database so what we can do now next is how are we presenting that message as in because we have different types of messages such as messages such as videos pictures and also this one stickers and this voice note so that's why we are sending a message with a message type of voice so in our chat message we check the message type if it's voice we display based on the message type for a voice message type we show this voice voice message which is this library and you to render our image like this and you can see i will set this i'm audio file because I, I'm downloading the file and I render it as an audio file. So, if you are new to this channel, may you kindly subscribe, click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever you upload awesome videos like this one. Salut Kodas, let's meet on another video tutorial.